Hello everyone and welcome to our disbelief guide and showcase. For our first move we're going to shoot a blaster. Very straightforward. Our next move is a bone spin. It's going to start out orange as it moves to its location. Go white and spin slowly and then spin rapidly as blue before disappearing. Our third move is a block. When my enemy hits me they'll be forced back and I'll take no damage. Our fourth move is a spinning bone. It's going to flash some colors to represent where it's going to go. You're probably not going to be using this move often. This move right here, you just send a orange or blue bone across the corridor. You're probably only going to use that if you're having trouble hitting enemies and need some blue. The blaster broad summons a bunch of blasters to your left and right towards the location you selected. If you move during the ability usage, then they will also move with you to the spawning location. They won't actually follow you. While playing Disbelief, you're probably going to want to stand in your Spinning Bone. Alright, now let me block. And after getting hit 10 times and blocking 10 times, the bone will break, moving into the next phase. And here we go. In the next phase, my first move, I just fire 3 blasters at every enemy. My next move is a blue blaster. Since it's blue, they can stand still to avoid it. My fifth move is a bunch of little shark bones. They aren't very accurate. My fourth move sends a bunch of orange and blue bones from over here across the corridor. And the third move is bug. It only summons platforms. It actually will help your enemies more than you. I don't recommend using it. And anyway, in order to go to the next phase, I need to spend all of my stamina. I can't keep any of the stamina. So I'm just going to quickly burn all of it up here. Let's see. I'm nearly out. So come on. 46 left. I can do it. I can drain it. And I think the bone jumps will do it. There we go. So for my first move, I got this. It just allows me to select a spot, fire a bunch of blasters, and then... Sans is going to appear and fire his own blasters, along with all these bones just kind of appearing on the floor. Alright, my third move is the platforms. That's going to make a platform there, and after a little bit it's going to move. In the meantime, I can summon two spinning bones around me. They do that. My fifth move summons a huge rush of bones across the room. And my sixth move summons a large quantity of blasters and fires towards one location. After a little bit, Undyne's going to appear and help me by throwing blue and yellow spears. And now this giant bone zone, really useful ability. If we can quickly see it again, it was all those bones being scattered across the corridor. Looks like it's not appearing. Now during phase 2, I believe you could technically die, but during phase 3, you're fine. You can't die, and it's actually just kind of waiting until... The phase ends for them, so let's actually skip to that, since I've already shown everything here. Once the phase ends, we're going to move into the final phase. Our first move, just shoot some regular bones. Our cool bone move, shoots a skateboarding bone. My fourth move, on both sides of the corridor, colored bones are going to shoot across, converging right around here. Changing color often. Basketball will shoot a low warning above your head and drop three basketballs. It's a very low cooldown, meaning you can actually kind of spam up. Just be warned, as it doesn't appear that you gain stamina in the final phase. Now, if I use the last attack, it looks like it's not actually working. So in that case, let me just drain my stamina. It looks like the fifth move only works when you're out of stamina. So yeah, I'm just going to drain all of that. And now, let me use the last blue. There we go. Now blue bones are going to shoot across the corridor. The method of avoiding them is to just, well, stand still. If you stand still, the Pyrus will stand no chance of uh, hitting you. Of course, the downside being that you can't really hit the Pyrus while you're standing still. And I'm not sure if this blue attack actually ends. Let's see. Okay, it does. And now I'm out of stamina, so I'd actually die in one hit. But that is the complete disbelief guide in how to showcase. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.